So this is Dungeon Clawler. And uh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. So Dungeon Clawler, which I'm going to say wrong all the time. Dungeon Clawler is a roguelike claw machine deck builder. Build your unique deck, find enemies, fight enemies by grabbing weapons and items from a claw machine, and find special artifacts that help you on your quest to reclaim something you lost. Aim carefully to claw your way through this dungeon. Because it's a claw machine. Alright, let's give this one a look. Um, and as I'm going through, as I'm going through, if you can't see the game changing on screen, let me know. Okay. Collect items using your claw to fight enemies. Hover your mouse cursor over things to get more information. Use the WSD keys to move on the map. Use the A and D keys to move your claw. Space to drop the claw. Space to close the claw manually. Backspace to skip your turn. You can change game speeds in the settings. In the future, you'll be able to craft clothes with collective fluff, but it has no function yet. Okay. We are on floor one of five. Can I, oh, okay, I can also use the arrow keys. Okay, so we really are using the claw machine to grab stuff <laughs> okay that's a <laughs> hey tyrannosaurus um okay so inside the claw machine we have a dagger, which attacks the nearest enemy for 6 damage. A shield, which increases our block by 10. Um, fluff, which has no use yet in the game. And a big shield, like Big Shield Gardena, that increases block 115. Okay, so let's... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I meant to move the thing. But that's okay. I got two shields... Okay, the enemy's going to do 6 damage, and 6 damage, and block. Welcome on in, it's an Opera Geek Raid. Hello, welcome on in everybody. Hi, 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 hi. Um, I'm currently playing, oh, you can't see the enemies. Uh, Dungeon Clawler. I'm glad the captions can get that. Um, I converted the world. Fantastic. I mean, as expected of you, you played so many hours in that game. <laughs> but yes, welcome on in Raiders. Um, I'm just doing demos today and I looked at the Steam Deck Building Fest and there were more things in there. Um, so yeah, we are playing a roguelike where you are fighting enemies by items that you pick out of a claw machine. Um, I'm actually going to hide myself for a little longer for this combat. Um, so we're able to move the claw machine back and forth. Oh, there's a new... Oh, if I can just attack... Okay, if I can just pick up this by, my, by itself, then it deals double damage. Okay, we're not going to do that. What we're going to try for is we're going to try for these daggers... and a shield. So shield, dagger, dagger, and I get another pull. Shall we go with, shall we, shall we go for dagger, dagger, dagger? Blue pointer, thank you for the resub, welcome on in. Um, I'm gonna, oh, 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 oh. Nice, okay, dagger, 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 and shield. Okay, enemy's turn. The enemy's gonna hit me for six. Okay. So it's interesting. You do 
you kind of do build up your deck of things that you pull out of here. Um, okay, so let's let's try grabbing this big sword. <gasps> ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, block, small, big hit, and they're done. And we're gonna reward. Um, so I'm guessing that it, like like a lot of roguelikes, this will add this reward to the claw machine. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, the heat gun gives you one shrink wrap, which shrinks a random item in the claw machine. The ticking bomb after three turns does 30 damage to all enemies. And the piggy bank rewards coins. I'm gonna go for the ticking bomb. So yeah, this is a roguelike and um, let me do this. And then let me also, because we've had some lovely resubs and I appreciate you. Ooh, a little hype train in potentia per usual. Um, but yeah. So yeah, thank you very much for those resubs. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so far the game seems pretty simple. Oh, there's just, I got fluff on my, speaking of fluff, there we go. Should have done that first. Um, so yeah, it is a roguelike, but instead of getting dealt hands, you have to get everything out of a claw machine. And the way that you're changing things is you're adding things to the claw machine as you go. So let's head to the next combat. Okay, in this combat we are fighting lava slimes, and they're just gonna all attack. Like, dang. So I think we're gonna have to go for the shield and the ticking time bomb. Did not get the time bomb. Did, however, get. Hold on, now my brain has to do math. Four and four and four and four and four and four. That's 12, that's 24. You can't see me. I was doing this and this and this and this and this and this. Um, so there, I'm going to be able to survive this hit, but I really want that bomb. Are you any good at claw machines, Rogan? Because I am not. Okay, we're taking this bomb. So lots of fluff. Okay. So now all I need to do is survive. Because after three turns, it will do 30 damage to all enemies. And all they're going to do is attack me. Just... All they're going to do is attack. So... We're going to defend our little butts off. Uh, I want to go for this cluster of shields right here. Yeah, oh, oh, don't oh, poop. Okay, so I need a little more shield. Let's let's go for the big one. Okay, so the special thing about the about the large shield is if you collect it alone it doubles its block so by by picking it up alone and I actually manually closed the claw around it instead of 15 it gave me 30 so yay okay we're gonna try for the piggy bank because I like money I like money Oh, that's too many things. Oh, oh. Okay. Dagger. Dagger. Piggy bank. I need to survive 
one more turn, so I'm going to need those shields. Again, if I can grab this one on its own. Okay, not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. So the bomb again, and then that. Oh no, we're still good, we're still good. Okay. When does my time bomb go off? Never mind, yeah, they're dead. Okay. A Mooring Star attacks the nearest enemy, dealing damage based on how much block you have. The body armor lets you gain five block at the start of every turn, which is nice. Or the Shuriken, which deals damage at the start and... Oh, five poison to... La ah. We're going to go with the body armor because I like having block on every turn. Uh, looks like our next thing up is treasure. Okay, so these are healing potions. This is increasing our maximum health. I think we'll go with trying to get this healing potion, sorry, increase the maximum health over here. <gasps> no! I messed up. That's on me. Okay, so on this level, uh, we have a lava slime that's going to attack me. We have a plant slime that's going to attack me. So what's that? 11, 22, 30, 34. Uh, they're going to hit me hard. So we... Oh, yeah, no, let's not get caught on that. So we just need all the shield we can get. I will take it. Um, maybe we can get a little attack back with this sword. Don't drop that shit. Oh, I needed that. Okay, that's all right. I think we have just enough to skate by. We do. We were down to one block. So, okay. Uh, they're going to do the same thing again. So... Crap. All right. Um, all right, we got to do it again. We got to get the... We got to get blocking. It's blocking time. Let's see if we can grab just this one shield by itself. If we grab it by itself, it gives us double, so that should give us 30. Okay, now let's try for the body armor. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall! Don't fall. Ah! <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, what? Okay, now we have the body armor applied, so we're getting five block at the start of every turn. We also have the bomb that's gonna count down in two turns. So at this point, we just need to stay alive. And what I'm going to do to choose to do that is shields. Oh shoot, did I turn off that? No, I didn't, okay. Shields, shields. Oh my God, shields. I do not like the uh, like the physics feel accurate to when it comes back up and does the shaking like are you going to drop the things that I wanted you to pick up is that what you're about to do um if I can get a shield and sword that would be great or dagger I couldn't but that's okay I will take a shield Now I really have to just last one more turn, um, and then we'll explode all of them. So let's try again. I'm going to try for the big shield. 
that should give me 30 block. Okay, so that's going to handle all of their damage. Now I can just try for something fun, like maybe this piggy bank? Come oh, poo. And the bomb went off, so it hit them both for 30 damage, so it's fine. Um, I'm guessing that these features will matter later. Um, okay, the Warhammer attacks the nearest enemy for 20 damage and increases your block by 10. We're definitely going to try for this one. Oh, there's a big boss coming up. Well, we'll see how this goes. This is a big sapling, and it's going to buff itself or others. So it's not going to attack me yet, so I should try to attack as much as possible. Um, I do want to see if I can get that Warhammer, though. Again, careful about the edge. No. Oh, I don't think we're going to be able to get it. Or maybe. <gasps> oh! Sorry. Does that put you in a better place to get you, though? It's almost like there's two. Oh, 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 oh! Okay. What did you add? Okay, you buffed yourself with spikes. So now, and the spikes are one of my favorite, like, damage types in these kind of games. You're going to attack me for six. But if I attack you, I'm going to get damage. So I need to block first. So let's grab some shields. I mean, if we can get a sword in there too, great. But you're going to fall out, aren't you? Oh, you didn't fall out. Good for you. Okay, so now I've got all the damage blocked. Why don't I try for the bomb? I mean, I may not need it, but let's try for the bomb. Come here. Okay, so we'll be able to survive the hit. And now we might just want to wait this out. If we can just defend, then the bomb is going to do a lot of the work for us. But maybe first the sword. Okay, we'll take that. Can we get the, the shield first? Okay. Then let's do some shielding. It doesn't really matter because they're not going to attack on this turn. So you're just going to keep giving yourself more and more spikes. Okay, which means that I should keep defending myself. This is this is very good claw machine physics too. Like you, you're I can see people as they play this very slowly getting getting the knack of operating the claw machine. Um And it's a really unique mechanic to put in this. Like, yeah, if you like claw machines, then this is definitely for you. Um, okay, yeah, you exploded, so you're dead. Okay, we beat the boss, so we get an extra something. Blockmaster's nice. You retain the block between turns. Hoarder increases the amount of items that can get dropped into the machine. Hey, Brit, and yes, happy World Autism Awareness Day. 
And this is interesting. If you only pick a single item in a turn, it gets used twice. That could be very handy. That could be very handy, but I think we're going to go ahead and get Blockmaster. Hey, JD, welcome on in. What are you? Okay, so... Okay, well, I don't know what you do. Do you do nothing? Oh, we had to make a choice. I did not know that. Because I want to see what the... That's fine. Okay, now we have enemies that are messing with the claw machine. So... This enemy is going to modify items in the machine. This enemy is going to add items to the machine. They're both going to hit me for 25 points of damage. So it's shielding time. Shields, please. All the shields, please. All of them. Yep, just all the shields. All of them, please. Thank you. Um, can we have more shields, please? I'm going to need all the shields. That, oh, n that was not what I wanted to happen. I mean, I'll take the money, but this is going to hurt. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the frog, hey, Mighty Mer, welcome on in. The frog made the shield huge, making it probably harder to pick up. Am I let, can I just use this? Um, and then the hamster added fluff. Okay. They're both gonna attack me again for the same amount, so I need I need this body armor if I can get it. Yes. Oh, and the bomb. Perfect. Okay. I could use the shield and this uh, morning star. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We're still in trouble. Oh my gosh. Uh, what what just happened? JD, thank you. Um, Black Dog, thank you. I hope you had a, I hope you're having or had a good time. And Murr, thank you. Oh my goodness. Welcome on in. Hello. Um Oh, I think you made this bigger. Okay, so I still need to block. Um, gonna try this. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Um, I think we'll just try for you. Did not make it, um, but I have an attack. So that's gonna attack the frog. They're gonna hit me for quite a bit, not a fan. Okay, the frog is making things larger. Like it made the dagger huge. It made the shield huge. And the hamster just keeps adding more fluff, which is not what I like. Um, but we're going to go for this one shield. Because if we grab it by itself, it will do double the shielding. And now let's try grabbing another shield. Oh, wow. Okay, we grabbed a lot in that. Alright, another bomb. Another shield. That'll protect me. 
I won't keep any block, but... And then my bomb should go off, so that takes care of the frog. Oh, okay. Um, let's once again go for you. Okay, it's not what I wanted to do, but I'll take it. Okay, that'll protect me from the ham ham. So let's try going for you. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes. Okay, that gives me, okay, you're, this is hard, y'all. Ooh, a magic wand. It's very small though, so this might be not easy to pick up, but um, it attacks the last enemy. So I think that means like the actual rear enemy and heals you. We're gonna need this. We're gonna need it in a second because we're probably gonna die. Yeah, we're probably gonna die. So, this is a healer. Uh, the ice slime we've dealt with before. They're gonna heal itself for others. So, yeah, this is gonna suck a little bit. Um, I'm gonna try for the magic wand. Because I could use that healing. Okay, so we're gonna have to dagger dagger and then heal and then we're going to try for the warhammer because we mostly need to build up shield oh thank goodness okay that took out the slime oh they're both going to hit me for 19 damage because they suck so thanks for that I appreciate you game I do up yours. Okay, let's go for some blocking then. Home. Okay, so that'll be a little bit of block, a little bit of block, a little bit of Monica on my side. Okay. Um, let's try for the body armor. I'm not confident because I feel like that pig is in the way. Ooh. Ooh. Nice wedging those two. Okay, so we've got the Warhammer and we've got the body armor. Uh, we will be protected and we'll get to hold on to that block until the next turn. Uh, because we have a perk that is the block master. Okay, so now we really need to just rain down fire and destruction on these motherfuckers. One dagger, one, oh, good. Okay, let's try for the sword over here and all these daggers. Excellent, excellent. Dagger, sword, dagger, other dagger. Okay, you healed yourself for 25 because you suck. All right, you're gonna hit me for 19. I don't want to take that damage, so... But I do want to go for the sword, because if I can get the sword on its own, it will deal double damage. So the sword should now deal 16. And I need four more points of blocking to not get hurt. So let's try for the Warhammer. Excellent. Okay, so that's gonna give me block and deal damage. So you can hit me, doesn't matter. Okay, so now it's gonna try and heal itself. So I'm gonna try and take it out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me that Warhammer. Dunzo, son. And our options. The Brass Knuckle attacks the first enemy for two damage and gives you one dodge, which is kind of nice. Energy Drink will convert all block into strength at a one to two conversion rate. I think we're going to go for the Brass Knuckles. 
Okay, we're at a forge. So... Oh, we can, Oh, okay, so we can upgrade our small shield to increase the block by five, or... Okay, so let's upgrade our shields. Oh, but it costs us some when we do. Okay, that's fine. We will we'll take it. Let's upgrade our daggers and leave the room. Okay, yeah, we are in trouble. What's it, almost five o'clock? Perfect. Oh, we're back with our friends, the frog. Oh, the brass knuckles are big. Uh, we're back with our friend, the frog, and the lava slime. The lava slime's gonna do 12 damage, 12 hits to us. The frog's gonna do 25. So that's what, 37? It's rude. So we, we might be in trouble here. Um, the best thing we can do is we can go for the brass knuckles, which will give us at least one dodge attack. Stay in there, stay in there, stay in there, stay in there. Okay, that'll give us dodge. And then we can try for the, the hammer, but I feel like we are kind of doomed. Oh, well, we'll get some healing and some block, but we're not doing great. Yeah, no, we're going down. Oh, not yet. We have one hit point and a dream. Hey, enjoy the lurk. Uh, we're going to try for the shield over here because it's a better shield. Okay, that gives us 10. Okay, that gives us 25 and it did. Okay, all right. We're safe for one turn. Let's try for the magic wand to get a little healing back. And also some, Oh, that's a good haul. That's a good haul. Body armor, shield, magic wand. Okay, you can't hurt me. Um, I'm gonna save this block. That large bomb is very tempting. Eh, I didn't get the large bomb. It's very tempting, though. Okay. Um, we'll be able to withstand the attack because we have 25 block. So the question is now, how are we going to fight back? I think I'll go for the um, for this again. Because this does damage and gives me block. Okay. So you can do your 10. Okay, you can do your 25. You're leaving with 10. I gain 5. Uh, this, this hammer is actually being my best friend today. So we're going to continue with the hammer. Done. That was rough. Um, okay, so vitamin pill converts all strength into block. All right, I don't really have anything that gives me strength. I'm going to try the gold dagger. It attacks the nearest enemy, dealing three damage plus one for every ten coins you own. I don't even have ten coins yet, but it's fine. I'll just throw it in there. Um, we're not. Uh, this is, this is definitely, this game is being so mean to me right now. Like, so mean. What did I do to you, game? Honestly. So we're gonna get hit for 12, 20, 50, 50 points. I gotta somehow block 50 points of damage. Not liking my chances, y'all. That's 10. That's 20. If I 
can get this big shield on its own. <gasps> oh, no! That's it. We're done. <laughs> oh, I tried. I tried. And I grabbed the shield the wrong way and it slipped right out of the little claw. Just boop. <sighs> Sorry. Um, I'm guessing this is our grandma. Sorry for disappointing you. Okay, so that is adorable. Um, if you if you like the same kind of dungeon crawling, roguelike, procedurally generated kind of thing, but you also like a claw machine mechanic, then give Dungeon Clawler a try. And you can hop into the Steam store right now and grab the demo for yourself. Um, this is really cute. That that claw mechanic is it's like addictive. I was gonna say you get hooked on it, but that's rude. Um, it is like it's addictive, but it's also it is a fickle, fickle, fickle servant. Cause it's like eh, eh, boop. I've never been good at claw machines in real life, and um, in this game, I am no better. But I can also understand there's a strategy element to it to fill the machine with as much stuff as possible, thereby making it almost impossible to miss something. But knowing that you'll need, like I need a shield or I need an attack, is rough because you can't block forever. You know, you have things like the bomb that will eventually do damage over time, but then you just got to block for... So yeah, you can come up with some interesting strategies. But yeah, um, I would say hop in the Steam Store and take a look. It's a kind of a cutie. <laughs> one must become one with the machine. I think people have been thrown out of arcades for that, personally. But, you know. Um, but yeah, that's really cute. That's really cute. So let's pop this out. 